right now to the race for the White House tonight. Exactly one week after the presidential debate, Vice President Kamala Harris is back in Philadelphia. She took questions today in a panel discussion with the National Association of Black Journalists. Action reporter Toronto Thomas was there, and Toronto former President Donald Trump talked to the same organization this summer in Chicago at their national convention. Yes, he did, Rick. He faced some tough questions from NABJ panelists, and today Harris faced some tough questions of her own. How will you address the issue of the use of handguns? A key question in a city like Philadelphia. It is just reasonable to want reasonable gun safety laws that say we should do background checks. It's one of a dozen issues Vice President Kamala Harris was questioned on in a panel discussion with the National Association of Black Journalists, hosted by WHYY in its Center City studio. Harris sticking to her message on issues including abortion. We need to put the protections of Roe v. Wade back into law. And when that bill gets passed by Congress, I will proudly sign it into law. She also addressed former President Trump's unfounded claims during the presidential debate that Haitian immigrants were eating people's pets, those comments sparking threats to the Haitian community in Springfield, Ohio. It's a crying shame. Spewing lies that are grounded in tropes that are age old. Trump faced a similar NABJ panel this summer. They were convicted by a very, a very tough system. Just weeks after an attempt on his life in Butler, Pennsylvania, this week another apparent assassination attempt. Harris revealing she spoke with Trump after. I checked on to see if he was okay. I told him what I have said publicly. I, there's no place for political violence in our country. She did, though, place some blame on Trump for the state of the economy, saying his presidency left the country in a bad spot. But she also admits it's hard right now for everyday Americans. Is the price of groceries still too high? Yes. Do we have more work to do? Yes. Making her case for the job as the campaign trail keeps leading back to Philadelphia. Now, Harris was also pressed on issues including the war in Gaza and the state of the American economy. She used it to really tout what she calls an opportunity economy, saying her plan would include home down payment assistance and a $6,000 child tax credit. In Center City, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Toronto, thank you.